Is BIS certification mandatory for electronic products? India mandates BIS certification for import of IT and electronic products. Importing electronics and information technology, IT, products without Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS, registration is now prohibited in India. The country is tightening quality controls for electronic products to curb the rising import of cheap electronic items, in particular from China, and boost local manufacturing under its Make in India program. According to the Directorate General of Foreign Trades, DGFT, notification, every company importing and selling electronic products like mobile phones, LED television and LED lights in the country is required to register with the BIS for clearance, failing which the imported goods would be re-exported. Previously, the government had initiated the Electronics and Information Technology Goods Requirements for Compulsory Registration order in 2012 and mandated 15 electronic products under it to have ABIS certification. These included laptop, notebook, and televisions among others. The order now extends to every imported electronic and IT product for sale in the market. New rules have wider implications on future imports of electronic items to India, which imports nearly 50% of its total electronic products sold. The proportion of electronic components imported for manufacturing is even higher, at about 75 to 80 percent. India's Commerce Ministry data show that the imports of electronic items have nearly doubled in the last five years. If the current trend continues, analysts estimate the demand for electronic items to outpace its local production, creating an import requirement of about 300 billion US dollars by 2020. Given India's huge appetite for imported electronic products, it is important for importers and foreign manufacturers to get every aspect of compliance right. Failure to do so can prove to be expensive and may also damage business credibility. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more updates.